Hi, Social Biz listeners. This is Celia Hamilton. I'm the Strategic Planning Manager for the Social Biz User Group. I'm very excited about today's interview because I was lucky enough to get Luis Benitez to carve out some time for me. Luis is the Social Software Product Manager at IBM. He's an evangelist for IBM's collaboration solutions, and he's responsible for getting feature requirements into the product plans. Luis, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to share your insights with the community. My pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. So Connections 4.5 hit the public in March with some pretty neat new features. Congratulations on a successful launch. How has the reception been? It's been fantastic. You know, thankfully, you know, we've had a, a lot of customers already go, go to the upgrade. Um, that's kind of what we're pushing uh, a lot of our uh, document management customers to, to go after and, and really use the, the new document management capabilities that we introduced as that's, that's part of 4.5 and Connections Content uh, Manager. One of the things that's actually very, very exciting is that uh, very recently, you know, several days ago, uh, Forrester just released their uh, Forrester Wave on file mm -hmm. sharing and sync. And I was one of the uh, people at IBM that was interlocking with Forrester, so uh, I did several demos for them. And it was all based on Connections 4 or 5. And uh, the report that, that came out puts IBM as a leader in file sharing and sync and it's all based on the IBM Connections uh, 4 or 5 capabilities, plus some of the things that are uh, coming very soon. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm also happy to announce that over the past couple of uh, uh, weeks, we've been releasing tons of things that we showed at the IBM Connect conference mm -hmm. um, earlier this year. Um, so, for example, we, we released a, a brand new theme to enhance the look and feel and the branding of Connections. Uh, people were just asking for it almost daily since the <laughs> Connect conference. Uh, and so we did that cloud first. You know, we're, we're very big on, on cloud. Mm -hmm. And so for our on-premises customers, we made that available uh, recently as well. Um, the other thing that you probably have heard about already we made a, a huge update to our mobile apps, mm. introducing IBM Docs on mobile. So now imagine all those business travelers, uh, you know, I, I travel a lot, being able to use your Connections mobile app on the iPad and just open documents and start editing and making changes very quickly on the cab, on, a, on the way to the customer, right. or on the plane as you're getting ready for that big customer presentation, you know, just being able to not only view but edit documents and co-edit with your peers wow. that may be you know, all the way across the globe is extremely powerful. Um, and for me, the other value that I get is that I don't have to now buy pages or buy um, a keynote or any other mm -hmm. app because it's – it's just available to me as part of the Connections app. And all of this, of course, enterprise ready. So we, we also provide remote wide capabilities directly from the Connections interface. Um, files are encrypted on the device, so you don't have to worry about losing your device or getting it stolen. Mm. Um, we, we also added recently two-factor authentication, which um, it's been really popular in the news lately with some of the uh, big social networks like Facebook yep, Twitter, and Twitter yeah. and so forth. Yeah, implementing that. So, yeah, enterprise ready, and go ahead and make sure that you have the latest update from the uh, app stores. Oh, great. So let's talk about some social business theory. Uh, social media is a core part of social business, but it, a lot of people consider it to be a marketer's job. So in your opinion, to ensure success, who should be in charge of a social business initiative? Mm, great question. So... <laughs> My recommendation would be, you know, you certainly want to have somebody um, in, in buff from, from the business side. So um, I still love my IT admins, and IT admins are, are great. But, you know, I, I truly see this as a, as, a, as a shift in the culture of the company. And so you really need somebody uh, responsible for that that, that can drive that uh, transformation within the, uh, within the enterprise. So, for example, inside IBM, it's being driven by our HR division. So our CHRO is really pushing the, the social business agenda as well as our 
CEO, Jenny Rometty, who's very active in connections. Mm -hmm. And that has been tremendous for for the product because um, it's just driven the adoption significantly. Um, Every time that Jenny Rometty posts a, a video blog, that's, that's like her favorite thing to do. <laughs> um, you know, immediately, there's like, uh, you know, fifty thousand hits, uh, right. you know, four thousand comments, and you, you see that the usage just spike. And uh, wow. it's all these people, right, that they really want to be heard and they want to help transform the way that IBM does this business. So, um, you know, marketing is very important. You know, marketing will be handling probably the the external aspects to this. Um, but I think somebody like the, the CHRO is probably best because they can also help with implementing mm-hmm. social computing, you know, social computing guidelines like like we have at IBM, um, and and you know, making sure that you know if employees are going to engage in social business platforms, that they they know the best way to to do that. Yeah, you're absolutely right on it. I I talk to my colleagues a lot about this and. You, you can't. It's hard to complain or to say I'm not going to use something if the CEO can use it. You can use it too. You know. It, it, so that exactly. that really makes a, a really good uh, a good point. Uh, and, and I talked to Matt Newman and Kat Mandelstein last month about tips for admins to get better user adoption for the social business tools that they implement. And and what's your best advice to improve user adoption then? My best advice. Okay. So I think you know what seems to be working for most companies is kind of like a, a two-pronged uh, approach. Um, so first, don't build social as a silo, right? Um, I, I've seen a lot of companies try, you know, mm-hmm. building social and waiting for people to come, kind of like, you know, if you build it, they will come. Mm-hmm. And that right now has 100% uh, failure rate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the whole concept of if you build it, they will come is just not, not going to happen. So... One of the things that, that got me hooked on connections was the fact that connections comes to me. So I, you know, I can use connections from my mobile device, from my desktop via the plugins, directly from my notes client via the, the plugins there. So initially for me, I, I didn't know what connections was. I didn't know what social was. I was just using it because it was there available for me. So the more you can do to push social to the end users, or push is probably not the right word, but bring social mm-hmm. to the end users, the more likely they're going to use it, right? Because now it's just part of their context, and it's just, you know, a click away. Um, on that end, the, the other thing that I um, see as a success uh, factor is really depending on the social business platform as the collaboration tool, right? So if if you make... You know something like connections, just something nice, you know something cool for people to use. They're not going to use it. You know, mm-hmm. employees today are they're overloaded. They have a lot to do. They just want to go home at five o'clock. So right. if social is an add-on, they're just not going to spend time on it. But when you see people, um, well, I can't say names. So, well, we have customers, you know, migrating away from SharePoint, mm-hmm. right, and fully focusing on connections. Or customers that are dumping, you know, their old FTP server that they were using for file sharing, right? Uh, and completely removing it. Not not just telling people use connections over FTP, but completely removing the FTP server so that users don't have an option but right. to use connections yeah, that's for really file sharing. Yeah. Um, you know, some companies are encouraging people to move away from like you know team sites or team rooms or whatever. And again, really shutting down those systems so um, the users are, you know, forced to to make the, right. the, the transition. So it really has to be a, a commitment, and and you really have to drive business processes, you know, from it. Um, so you know, for example, my manager, um, she she wants us all to uh, work on our yearly um, end review as an employee and. You know, she asked us to submit it to her via connections, and so we all have our own little, you know, private wiki mm-hmm. that we kind of update as the year goes by. And then when when the time comes at the end of the year, our review is pretty much done, and she reviews, and off off we go. So, um, you know, so things like that. As you start 
making connections uh, the dependable platform, that's really something that you should be striving for. Yeah. Yeah, that's really a good idea. Uh, I always wait until the you know the day before my review is due to try and remember what I've done for the whole year. That's a really good idea. I might steal that one and pass it on here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Luis, thanks for joining me. Best of luck on your future future projects. I, I look forward to seeing more good news about how Connections and Smart Cloud and the rest of your products are going. Thanks for uh, taking the time out to talk to me today. Thank you. See ya. To all the listeners, please take a minute to check out socialbizug.org. It's the community formerly known as lotususergroup.org, and it's the first public community built entirely on connections, domino, and XPages technologies. Registration and membership is completely free, and there is lots of useful information and support for notes admins and developers and folks interested in social business. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at socialbizusergroup. Thanks for listening.